Hey, what's up you guys? It's your girl Abby Nick and today I'm back with another video. As you can see by the title, we here with a Q&A. Now, listen, it's crazy because me and Kiana and my friends just have been on the go back to back to back, y'all. And she just recorded um, a q and I was just telling her that, yo, I've been wanting to record a Q&A, but we've been so on the go. And I've been in and out of um, Orlando literally for one day, getting out, coming back in, getting out, coming back in, no time to sit down the cam camera and talk. So right now, and I'm not gonna lie, when I get home after this trip, right now I'm in Dominican Republic, Kiana in the back, sleep over there. Um, I'm about to leave so she can get her rest and I'm going to the airport, but we are in Dominican Republic right now. If you look outside real quick, that's why I keep looking at the view because it's so beautiful. It's so nice out there with the water. I literally have a flight in like a couple hours and I'm just pretty much waiting for my driver so I can head over there. So I decided to do a Q&A because since I left LA, y'all, I have been on the go. Like literally been traveling like never before. And it's crazy because last year around this time we was doing the same thing. So the fact that I'm doing it again is crazy. And then Kiana's birthday coming up. So we I literally have a couple days to chill and then we going to whatever surprise location. I don't know if she told y'all, but I'm gonna let her tell y'all. That's the case in the background was giving me O C D chat. Okay, so I posted on my story this morning, literally like, okay, let me know what you guys wanna ask me. Hold on, my sister calling. So, we just gonna get right into it. I'm not gonna waste no time. I told y'all to ask me questions. Y'all went ham on the gram. So, we finna go through them right now, okay? So, let's start off with, I'll just go in order, I guess, because yeah, I didn't read none of these because I wanted y'all to get my initial reaction on camera. So, let's start. Okay, have you figured out where, what city you want to live in personally? I figured right now because I'm traveling like crazy, I'm going to stay stationary in Orlando right now. Because it makes no sense for me to rush and find a place like I thought I was going to do. And not know exactly where I want to live. Because I'm very conflicted between Atlanta and Houston. I really feel like Atlanta is the place for me to be to really focus on my artistry, like really be in the studio all the time, hosting, getting in the clubs, getting my shit played, and shout out to all the DJs and people in Atlanta because they really mess with me hard every time I come out there. And I'm trying to build that same kind of relationship in the clubs in Houston. Houston is really lit too. I feel like Houston is more so my influencer side and I get to collaborate with more people and be around my friend, Kiana. You know, that's my road dog. But yeah, for sure, like I, I don't see a reason to rush and move somewhere while I'm traveling so much while every place requires me right now and plus I'm very picky sorry y'all I keep looking at the view it's so pretty I'm a very picky person and I don't want to just rush because I need to rush Orlando is where my family is I get to be around my family and regroup when I'm traveling a lot like this and I feel like that's very healthy because after living in LA for so long I wasn't able to really do that especially when I was going through my dark time I was away from my family for like six, seven months, and that was really hard for me. So being able to travel, have fun, go back home, detox, is very healthy, and I really like that. And it's crazy because I didn't think I would because I just hate Orlando for work, but I love it to go home, kick my feet, take my wig off, be around my family. Next question. Ever plan on meeting with Gums and Tay again? Y'all energy together so lit. Shout out to Gums and Tay. That's my Libra sis. I was just talking to her the other day, telling her I'm so proud of her, everything she's endeavoring and doing, because I know she shared with me she was going through a lot last year. And I'm so happy to see her snapping back and doing these events and these great things that she's doing. And I told her I'm going to be at the next one if I can be. We were talking about linking up, but our schedules are literally so packed, booked, and busy. But we will find each other at some point because that's my girl right there. Love her. Shout out to her. Would you ever open a store boutique location for Abby Nicole Boutique? Shout out to the Joshua James because, baby, you was asking the questions. So the big goal, of course, is to relaunch my brand. I'm not going to say too much. I'm just going to let y'all see it. Make sure you're following all my socials as well as for my brand. Um, I will be updating you guys on those and letting y'all know what's going on with that. The big goal is to have a plaza. I want to have a plaza one day where I just have a bunch of businesses in there. Not going to say too much, but the goal is to have a whole establishment. 
any countries you plan on going to this year i really want to go to maldives or maldives correct me i want to go to mexico jamaica turks and caicos so hopefully we can do those throughout the year someone said will you go to haiti while you're in dr yeah i would love to go to haiti like they said you can't just go to haiti like that i would honestly like to go on a cruise and i know the cruise be stopping in some of the countries that i named so i definitely would probably want to go on a cruise i've never been on a cruise before maybe go to the bahamas Bahama, Bahama. what's the next series okay my driver's here so let me hurry up what's the next series or are you done with the color series so right now i wanted to kind of go from red to blue but because we did a miami trip that kind of didn't go as planned i thought i was going to be able to execute more looks so i figured i would do a vacation series right now up until i'm ready to do that blue i feel like the blue will be coming in a little bit in april which is right around the corner so i don't know i'm about to finesse the little vacation series vibe with the beach and the trees and the vibes and then i'll probably switch over to like a blue vibe for the next trip i don't want to limit myself to color i want to be able to play around with patterns and vibes and stuff like that too what do you plan on doing for your birthday I don't want to speak too soon, like I said, to jinx myself. I'm trying to talk less, do more, move in silence kind of thing. I was saying that I want to do a trip because I've never had a really good, good, successful birthday. And this year, I really plan on keeping good people around me so that I can ensure that that happens. So I was thinking Maldives or Maldives. Girl, why do you have so much white on your lip, on your gloss lipstick? Is it concealer? Y'all, I just love for my I don't have it right now, but I do use something special to make it pop more. I like when it looks brighter. What hair company did you get your curly unit? from details please stay tuned i will let you know not a question but i think you should host an all pink party for the it influencers that would be so cute i'm not opposed to it how toxic is it just to be a tip for tat ass nigga dante you annoying as hell that is so toxic that's one of my biggest pet peeves i hate a tip for tat ass nigga i hate a tip for tat ass person like like no like just because i did something you want to do something back or get me back like i i get the whole revenge kind of thing but i'm gonna let god handle you like i'm not about to sit here and really really sit here and plot unless you do me really dirty really dirty or really grimy then that's that's when i'm a, okay you're not gonna play with me but just little tip for tat ass petty ass shit for what like what is that for that's so toxic just for you to be up under me and want to lay up with me as my nigga like that's weird have you ever considered getting your body done yes i really have considered getting my body done but i'm really hesitant about it because i want to have kids the main thing i want to do is my breasts my titty i want to get my top eyes done and i'm actually about to go for a consultation with my sister so stay tuned for that but as far as getting a bbl or implants or stuff like that i'm not sure because i don't really have that much fat to do a bbl i know people do skinny bbls but i know your fat could die really fast so i don't know if it's a point of me doing that and going through all that pain and all that so i don't know but i'll update you guys with that okay let's see it's a few more questions okay what do you look for in a man i look for a boss i look for somebody that is not insecure someone that's really sure in themselves has a lot going for themselves ambitious optimistic understanding kind loving someone that just matches my energy someone i can be myself around someone that believes in god someone that has good morals i know that's a lot of stuff child but baby i am not coming for nothing less this year every check needs to be there okay period what's the new what's new in life for you and did you pick a state yet i answered part of this question already what's new for you in life honestly just really learning what i love as a woman for myself what makes me feel good by myself what makes me feel good when i'm by myself or what makes me happy when i'm by myself what makes me sad or i'm learning more about myself as a woman every day and i really feel like that's very important because self-care self-worth self-knowledge all that is very important when you're growing and becoming the person you're becoming because in these years is where you're figuring figuring that out definitely new music new vibes new energy around me new friends all that what made you find say fuck it to old friends and moving on because a lot of times you guys when you are friends with someone or in a relationship and you have history and longevity you feel the need to hold on because of the history and longevity but sometimes they say yo your day ones ain't your day ones your day twos might be your day ones and i feel like that's what really has been transpiring you know what i'm saying i feel like people that haven't been in my life for as long as the people that have been some people i'm not saying all have showed me more support and love than the people that's supposed to be down for me and supposed to be there since day one it's giving hater it's giving energy it's giving you're trying to compete when we really supposed to be winning together you know what i'm saying 
So that's why I feel like y'all, the people, the these people, they stick together. Black people always, you know what I'm saying? We be knocking each other down when we really should be coming together. Like, it's ridiculous. But no, what made me realize that I had to let go of toxic friendships because again, it was a steady take but never given. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna keep letting people take, 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 take from me and they not giving for me and they just sucking me dry and expecting things from me because I did things because I loved, to, loved you or I wanted to. And then people just not on the same mental. Like, you are who you hang around. If you got your blueberries and they molding or your strawberries and they molding, any of the strawberries around it gonna mold. They gonna you know, feed off that molded strawberry. And it's like, I don't got time for that mixed energy, that different mindset. I need people around me who think like me, who move like me, or who are a little bit higher than me so that I can excel, not digress. Do you feel what I'm saying? So yeah. Do you feel like you have fulfilled promises you made to yourself after leaving toxic people? 100,000 million percent, okay? I feel like me, again, having love for people and attachments and being comfortable, I found myself going back or trying to go back or thinking, oh my God, I should reach back out or maybe I should make this right. No, keep that promise to yourself. And when God reveals certain things to you, again, and if you feel like some people in your life are toxic or if you're unsure, do what I did. Say a prayer unto the Lord and he will answer and reveal it to you, y'all. I'm not even joking. Like, to the point where he'll do something very tragic to where you cannot ignore the signs. He will come knocking at that door like, doom, 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 doom. Get the out of this situation like what else do you need me to do for you to realize that this ain't that you know what i'm saying he put you in a situation like that okay he'll give you baby signs like okay she did this to you or he did that to you mm, okay i'm gonna be cool with him and then they do something that's just like a complete spit in the face <laughs> and it's like oh no i can't ignore this sign and if you do that's your ass do you miss any old friends honestly i miss the memories that we shared i miss certain you know situations but i feel like it was for the best, whatever happened is for the best because what happened to you and Kay, I don't care to disclose that situation. Like I told y'all, whatever happened was a drawing of the line for me and I just don't care to speak on that situation because it just doesn't, it doesn't matter and I'm healing from it. I don't care to talk bad or speak down on anybody that I once respected and once loved and was once cool with, but whatever happened you guys, I felt like it was just, that was, I've had enough and that was just it for me. What happened to your new boyfriend, Chow? What's crazy is, and I'm not gonna speak on it too much because I'm just not gonna speak on it. I'll probably open up more about it later when time goes on more, but it just wasn't that. It just wasn't that. It was too much, it just wasn't that. Are you looking for a new hairstylist because I'm interested and I will travel wherever? I'm always interested in working with new hairstylists, but you guys do know, I kind of have like my key hairstylist I go to, which is my baby Marcus Myers, my baby the real Kiana in Atlanta. I go to Certified Touch when I'm in Houston, and Cozy Naps does my hair as well. But I'm always open to work with other people. Girl, you seem happy, I'm here for it. What would you say you are doing different? Also, do you have any tips on self growth and growing your confidence? Y'all, I have been so happy just letting go and letting God. Like I have just been walking by faith, not by sight, letting go of any darkness that I feel like LA brought me. You know, cause LA can be really dark y'all. And look it up on YouTube, look up what people be saying about LA, I'm not, I'm not even joking. Like you gotta really be strong because LA has a lot of bad spirits. I'm around my family more, I'm around good energy. It's really about who you have around you and tips on self growth. When you go through certain situation, observe both sides of the story. See where you could have went wrong, what you could have did different, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes when you're in an argument, you can control how the argument goes based off upon how you respond. So if somebody say, yo, F you, bitch, you made me feel like this, I could be like, well, honestly, friend, I feel as though when you did this, it made me feel like this. And maybe you didn't mean for it to come off. Instead of being, well, bitch, you could literally control the conversation. Even when talking to your parents, in a business meeting, anything you just the words and the way you say it or how you say it is how the situation transpires i'm gonna say have you and k made up no <laughs> now are you still dating that light-skinned guy that you were recently with no are you going to slow down with partying and get actually get your life in order no partying is part of my job and i'm really happy you asked this question because or i'm happy you asked this question but i ain't like the way you asked it because baby how you know my life not in order who are you to tell me my life ain't in order that's your problem know your place Y'all need to learn your motherfucking place. Okay. Um, 
definitely partying is part of my job. I am an artist rapper as well, you guys. So being in the scene, getting my music played. Sometimes I don't even be caring to be in a club, but now I'm in the club. If I'm in the club, if you see me in the club, I'm networking, I'm working, or I'm getting paid, or I'm getting my spins. I'm getting my songs spin, period, point blank. Getting my music heard. Um, I haven't dropped the new music I've been getting played yet, but I like to play them in the, get it played in the club. You know, I'm a woman, so getting in the club is really easy. And then, you know, I know a lot of promoters, DJs, stuff like that. So I like to see how the crowd and the DJs react to my music. So shout out to all the DJs that's been spinning me. DJ Lavish Lee, DJ Key, DJ Booth. I really fuck with y'all. It's more DJs, but I love y'all all. And I respect y'all for, you know, supporting me. For the life in order, like I said, baby, don't be trying to clock me. <laughs> what was your doctor and how much was the surgery? I didn't have any surgery on my body, yet at least you guys, I'm 100,000% natural. Just got my teeth done. Have you lived in moments you've always dreamed or prayed for? Yes, you guys, I'm not gonna lie, I have lived in a lot of surreal moments, even like with the celebrities that I've met, some celebrities that are now my friends. It, it's crazy because like, you know, not to fangirl, but to fangirl. But for Chris Brown, for example, like, as a kid growing up, I always thought I was going to go to a Chris Brown concert and be backstage and scream with my backstage pages. I mean, with my backstage passes. But then, living in L.A., oh, we're going to Chris Brown's house. Okay. And I don't get to react how I wanted to react as a little girl. Like, oh, my God, I fucking love you. It's like, you got to keep it cool. You know what I'm saying? Me and Chris... Every, we got a little insider every time he see me you be like yo where my blunt at you know what I'm saying and I be hitting it with him and it be a cool little vibe but it's like yo like what the fuck and I, when I share these stories with my friends from back home they're like yo how are you talking about this so casually and it's like cause when you're in the industry you can't act like that you gotta play cool like yeah you Chris Brown I'm Abby Nick what's up like you know me you don't know me okay well you know me now and I know you so it's like it's cool it's a cool vibe do you feel better after cutting a lot of people off yes you guys it's like a weight lifting off my shoulder especially when you're somebody that a lot of people depends on and you're kind of like the breadwinner for a lot of people or like just or you're like at a situation where people are depending on you and you have to think about everybody but yourself first because you have to consider a lot of other situations yes i love everybody that was in my life and it's you know what i'm saying i don't wish any bad on anybody on my my enemies or none of that even though i'm gonna make my enemies wish that they didn't make me their worst enemy like that's just how it is shout out to nikki for that line we go up but that's just fact but yeah that's like a whole weight lifted off my shoulders and i just feel free there's a couple more questions and i'm gonna wrap it up for y'all so did you and mcqueen have any relations not at all me and mcqueen have always been cool friends mcqueen and i are always gonna be cool that's my brother right there no relations nothing happened with Nobody in that YouTube circle. One thing about me, y'all, I know I be looking good, and you know I ain't gonna lie, I know I be, you know what I'm saying, turning hands when I walk in a room, but I'm not no hoe ass bitch. I don't, mm -mm, that's not how I move, my mom. We don't do that. We could talk more about like that, but baby, I don't move like that. Do you really like the style you get for your individuals? Yes, I do love my lashes, but lately I've been noticing I get them extra full because I only let LV Beauty do my lashes when I'm in Atlanta. Shout out to Layla, that's my girl. Go watch my vlogs if you wanna see her. But I'm noticing the style that I like, I can't remember if it's D or C curl, it go out too straight. So when my lashes grow, it, they, they sag a little bit and it made my eyes look closed in. So I'm gonna try the curl that I first, first started wearing, which is I think CC when it go more up but not too curled back i'm gonna let y'all know but i think i want to switch up my last style right now i have on strips giving my lashes a little break before kiana's birthday trip when will you and kiana have a meet and greet i was telling kiana we need to do a meet and greet we're planning some things throughout the summer so stay tuned make sure y'all follow my girl and all that just stay tuned just stay tuned i can't tell y'all too much just stay tuned and last but not least, the question here, have you ever had sneaky links and how did they go? Y'all, honestly, I'm gonna do like maybe a sneaky link video, y'all, and give y'all some tea. Anonymously, of course, because I'm not gonna just build a tea child with name dropping and stuff like that, but that's a whole separate video. But yes, sneaky links have been had. They're fun, I love sneaky links. They just be feeling so wrong, but so right, but so right, but so wrong, but just so right, but so right, all at the same time. Okay, last question right here, you guys, is how can I become an influencer and what's the tea? So you guys this is also gonna be its own video you guys 
I feel like it's so much more than what y'all think and I feel like that I should make a separate video or I was thinking to do a seminar where I pretty much schooled you and let y'all know the tea editing how I photoshop my colors when I change the background take stuff out the background reaching out to brands how to present yourself rate card prices all of that so definitely stay tuned you guys but I'm afraid that I'm gonna have to wrap this video right here it felt really good talking to y'all I haven't sat down and really chatted with y'all in such a long time if y'all want a part two to this Q&A let me know I do have to go catch my flight and I really enjoyed the Dominican Republic make sure you guys check out my dentist or my aesthetic specialist dental emporium they snapped on my teeth i love my teeth so much i love my smile I'll go check out my instagram for the before and after Whew. chill crazy oh and make sure y'all stay tuned for the vlogs and dr they are so amazing dominican republic from Tacana, chica. Que lo que hey y'all oh my god i had such a great time here but yeah but i will see y'all in the next one i love y'all don't forget to like comment subscribe follow me on all my socials i got a new twitter check that out it'll be on the screen and down below i love y'all so much give this video a thumbs up comment down below any other questions you might have and i'll answer them in a part two maybe and i'll see y'all in the next one love you Mwah.